How's it going everybody? Bike Town Skirter Hawk here and welcome to my 100 shots a day, 100 days fail challenge. This is my day 53. So no more lazy days, not for a while. Um, I started out getting really busy. I started having a lazy day and then it kind of turned into a lazy day the next day and the next day. Then it turned into me almost not doing it. <laughs> like I was laying in my bed with my dog and I was going to bed and so yeah, I had to get back up, put clothes on, get out here and do it. And then last night, I had, dude, it was like late again. So, and I stopped putting my arms on. I stopped using my shield. Um, those are bad habits when you're training. And you're training to better yourself. That's why you put on as much gear as you can. I mean, I, I, I could even put my legs on, <laughs> honestly, and helmet. But, you know, I'm going to go with at least my arm shield and sword today for sure. And I'm going to stop having lazy days. A lazy day is okay. Just I don't recommend lazy days because then it can turn into a habit and a string of, of circumstances. And the next thing you know, um, you stop training and then you get bummed about it and then you stop training even more. So let's just go ahead and do the flat snap for now. Shield arm feels really good still. Of course, this is early. <laughs> But yeah, getting very close to 10K snaps here. So I'm gonna be training wraps very, very soon. Um, I'm gonna give myself at least a couple practices of trying to land wraps as kills or at least throwing them in there with a two shot combination um, for a few weeks. And then I'm going to learn this shield um, like the back of my hand. That means pretty much every single practice I go to, um, an actual FCA helmet time practice, I'll be going there to work defense, not to throw blows. Um, if I get the opportunity to fight some of the knights outside of that, just on a day of the week, then I'll bust out all the moves. But I'm going to really be focusing on learning the shields. And that is going to mean a lot of footage where I don't get a single kill out of practice. Um, it's all about me dying. <laughs> and me review, viewing all those deaths and why it happened. But yeah, I did the same thing when I went with center boss to learn that. I got my offense pretty much up to snuff, very deadly. Then I worked on my defense very hard and some of those practices I will tell you right now were no fun <laughs> especially once people understood what I was doing <clears throat> and I would throw maybe two or three blows of practice you know just to keep people honest sometimes if they got sloppy instead of letting them know they're being sloppy but yeah so like I say, for me, practices, it's never about winning and losing anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's simply learning. Going with the plan. This is what I'm practicing today. Win or lose, that's what I'm going to do. Stick with your plan. So yeah, I'm also going to try to get to this earlier in the day from now on, because um, I noticed once, uh, once it got to the point where it was getting late at night and I was doing it, uh, my mind wasn't as sharp. I really didn't feel like doing any commentary, you know, I would just, I would just be out there to get it done, <laughs> you know, and that's, that's not the frame of mind I want to be in, folks. I want to be um, happy and excited about training. So I need to do that when my mind's fresh. Not so much when it's on its last bit of fuel. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, training the shield. So 
What I'll be doing a lot of, since you see me do this, um, I simulate as I step, I catch a shot in house, and I fire the leg and then the head. So when I'm practicing my D, I'm going to be doing a lot of blocks like that. Um, because it's something that I practice as a setup later down the line. <laughs> I'm also going to be practicing, uh, uh, my, my sword won't always be on my shoulder. In some cases, I'll be out here firing, they'll be firing, so I'll be returning it into tent. And I also use tent a lot to pick up wraps, because I just kind of track the sword and catch it. So I'll be practicing uh, a lot of tent blocks. And I'm still going to practice this as well while I'm defending so I can try to pick everything up as it starts to come in. <coughs> and I will most definitely be training this too, my defense from this position. So it's going to be here, here, here. <laughs> I'll be practicing it a lot with my defense. <sighs> kind of excited to get there because my, my offense is most definitely coming along, <laughs> like, most definitely. And I, I cannot wait for my defense to get up there to that level, because it's going to be huge for me. Um, you go out there in a tournament, and you die 50 to 75% less. Now, think about what that means, <laughs> you know, what that translates to in your fighting. show you guys something. So Squire came over and finished the project he's been working on. <laughs> and he's really happy with it. Did all the tooling himself. Freaking painted it to highlight it. Man, looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Proud of him for that. But what I like it, what I like to hear from people is they're like, these, these are the things I'm going to do. And they're, and it's not just, it's not just words. That's what I like about Dark. He's very extra, extroverted, very excited. But I like when he says he's going to do something, he does it. <laughs> you know, that, that's pretty cool. I like that. since uh, tomorrow's practice. So I really do have to get that in there. Arm's a little bit tired. And honestly, everyone, I was worried about picking up my shield today because like I haven't for days and I expected to be dying, like literally dying. I 
at full speed, that hook would be ridiculous. And it's just from sitting on my shoulder. I love it. And it's funny though, because I am, I am guilty of telegraphing my poke. And that's totally 100% intended. <laughs> I love it. And you actually start it before you even cross measure. And you're just super letting them know what you want. But if they react to that, because that's kind of what you want them to do. <laughs> you want them to react. Give yourself just that split second for your subconscious to recognize it. And then you'll switch angles. And Festival of Minerva, I landed some good folks. And that's because I'm practicing it. <laughs> well, I totally saw drop that backhand. That was ugly. are down in war, so not sure how big the practice will be, but weight plans are the plan. Whoa, flip. Can't work technique if I'm falling, slipping. All right. I'll think I'll end it there. I've still got a lot of work to do, but I am happy. I ended the lazy days and I did this a little bit earlier in the day when my mind was sharp. So thank you for joining me today and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.